and welcome to a Regent Ramos recording. Today we're going to be talking about keyhole necklines. I got my coffee with me. Mm. Let's get started. Here I've got a keyhole that I've drawn to create a template for what I want to create. The template has a center hole that's already cut out of it. But when you go to cut your fabric, you're not going to cut out that center hole just yet. The center hole here, for an average for an average large guy, is going to be about eight inches across on the center hole, and for a smaller person, you're going to go for about you know six six and a half inches across on the center hole. You also want to make sure that you mark on your template both the shoulder lines here and here, as well as the center line for the entire body. I'll show you why that's important in just a second. I'm going to take my paper keyhole template. I'm going to put it on my fabric. I'm going to mark it out. I marked out my keyhole template on my fabric using this. This is a chalk pen. Chalk pens can be found at your average office supply store. They hold a standard piece of chalk that you can get that, uh, like the ones that you had in school. I sharpen my chalk by either rubbing it on my palm or rubbing it on a piece of cardboard or piece of paper so that I give myself a nice clean tip. Using that clean tip, I'm then going to draw out my entire template. After I've drawn out my entire template, I make sure to mark on my fabric the vertical and horizontal lines. This is the shoulder line here and here, and this is the front of the this is the front of the chest and the back line. On this one, you can see that I've also marked out a really deep central cut, which is going to allow the cut of the keyhole to come down on the chest quite a bit. This is for a large guy in our park. I'm doing my template drawing on the wrong side of the fabric. That's the side of the fabric that you're not going to see. This is the side of the fabric you, that's going to be hidden. That leaves the front side of the fabric, or the side of the fabric that I'm going to expose, to be shown off in the front of the tunic. Let's take this and cut it out. Per snip, we're going to take the whole key line, keyhole, sorry, neckline, and we're going to shunt over ourselves over here to a tunic that I'm working on. This is a tunic that I've laid out. I've actually cut it as one large piece leaving the shoulder line to be unseen. So that, that shoulder line there is not going to have a stitch on it. Instead, I've cut it out of one long piece of fabric. This is really great if you've got something like a queen size bed sheet that you're working with. I'm now going to take and line up my keyhole neckline with my fabric. I've marked the tunic fabric using my chalk pen and I'm lining up the center line here with the center line of my fabric, as well as the shoulder lines here and here. Really important to make sure that you line that up correctly so that your keyhole neckline is in the center of your piece. You'll see that I'm actually laying out my keyhole neckline with the wrong side of the fabric facing up. I'm putting the wrong side of the fabric facing up on the wrong side of the tunic. That means this is the inside of the tunic and this side over here, this is the outside. When I go to sew this, I'm going to sew around in a circle right here. And then I'm going to cut this circle out. That's going to allow me to flip my neckline from the inside to the outside, exposing my very beautiful fabric on the outside of my tunic. This is how you set up a keyhole neckline. Thanks for coming to our Regent Ramos recording. I hope that we'll see you next time. Take care.